What's up, guys? It's Dragonheart1984 here. Mmm, Dragonheart1984 it is. We're back with you today to do a little uh, laptop upgrades. Uh, we have a second NVMe hard drive we're going to install. We are going to put in two 16 gigabyte sticks of G Skill Rip Jaws 3200 megahertz memory and upgrade to a Wi Fi 6E card that has Bluetooth 5.2. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the laptop we're working with today and the products that we will be using to perform the upgrades. So, what we have here is our laptop, the Lenovo Legion 5. As I said, I will put the model number in the comments. We also have our G-Skill Rip Jaws, two 16 gig sticks of 3200 MHz DDR4, so it's 32 gig total in dual channel. We have our Intel. Killer Wi-Fi 1675X, which is a Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.2. And we got a 2 terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus that we're going to add in for a little extra storage. And of course, we're going to do all of that with this wonderful little baby right here. The iFixit Toolkit. Now I have to say this video is in no way sponsored by iFixit. I just like their products. It's a one-stop shop, one and done. You got everything you need in here. You got your little tinkerers to open stuff. You got your anti-static protection right here, band you put around your wrist. All these nifty little guys in here. And then the big bad mamma jamma. Anything you need to open, you've got a bit for it. So, great product. Anywho, without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart. Here's a quick little shot for you of a couple of the case screws. You have two in this center area. You have four across the top, two on each end, and four across the bottom, two on each end, which will all fit snugly on a number one Phillips head. Just a quick note here, your screws in the middle and the top will be longer and your screws in this bottom row will be little short ones like that. Something to remember. have all the screws out we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these pry tools and ever so gently get this case pried up Just so everyone knows, if you've checked out any other YouTube videos on getting this cover off, they make it look like it's all roses and dandelions. I can tell you it is not. You will need quite a bit of force to get this thing to pop in all the right places. But once you do, voila! This one already has the upgraded 80 hour battery that some people have upgraded in other videos. So obviously we don't need a battery upgrade. Our Wi-Fi card should be under here, our memory will be under here, and the second hard drive slot is underneath here. So that's what we're going to work on now is removing these three covers, getting that stuff exposed so we can uh, swap out our parts. One thing to note here is that for these screws you see here, you need a double zero Phillips. Be 
sure to take notes up here at the top which one is the main and the aux and then down here which one is the main and the aux make sure you do not cross up these two cables for your antennas on your Wi-Fi card That takes care of the Wi-Fi card. Now, let's go ahead and open this up, swap out our memory. This does not actually have screws, it's just clipped in, so you just have to gently uh, use a flathead, pry it a little. Now that our memory is done, let's go ahead and get that other hard drive in. and two tats broken. There you have it. We put our new Wi-Fi 6C card in with Bluetooth 5.2, two sticks of 16 gig for a total of 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz memory, and an additional two terabyte NVMe hard drive. Now, let's put it back together, fire it up, see how she does. tools are put away we got everything swapped out a uh, little side note on the Wi-Fi card that Intel killer Wi-Fi card could only find one source that was actually selling them in the US and it was on eBay here goes nothing Betty so you can see here that it is recognizing all 32 gigs of the RAM that we just installed that is a positive 
And if you were wondering about that model number, you can see it right there in the top left corner. It looks like we are good on the adapter. You can see right there, Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6E AX1675X. We can see here that it has recognized the Bluetooth. There's our Samsung 970 Evo Plus 2 terabyte. Well, there you have it. We have successfully upgraded the memory. We have expanded our hard drive space and upgraded our Wi-Fi card. Everything was successful. Thanks for hanging around the channel. Uh, please leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Dragon Hard Out. Dragon Hard Out. Dragon Hard Out.